In this video, we're going to go over some problem solving, in particular linear problem solving, and then we'll look at a couple application word problems. So let's go over first the steps for problem solving. The first step in linear problem solving, or pretty much any problem solving, would be to read the problem first and then list the items that are known and the items that are unknown. You can do this mentally sometimes, or if it helps you, you can physically write out what you know and what you don't know. The second step here will be to assign a variable to one of the unknown items. Most times, uh, x is going to equal the item that is being asked for in the problem. Then you need to translate the other information in the problem to expressions involving the variable. There are some ways there are some ways that you can organize this data. So after you assign the variable to one of the unknown items, you can put your information into um, a chart to organize the data. You can draw a picture to help you organize the data. Just find some way to assign the variable and then translate the other information um, into expressions. Step would be to write an equation using the items and the variable listed in steps 1 and 2 that describe the situation. So you may want to reread the problem and then write the equation with the given information that you have. You'll have expressions from step 2 and you'll use those expressions that involve the variable to set the equation up. Step four will be to solve the equation that you set up in step three. So that's a simple one. All you need to do is uh, solve for the x variable, or if you have a different variable, solve for that specific variable. The last step, step five, is to write the answer out. Make sure that you fully answer the question and that your final answer makes sense. Um, sometimes you'll want to make sure that if you're finding a length that you don't have a negative number or that your length doesn't exceed what the boundaries are. Or another example would be if you um, have to take the square root of both sides that you don't have a negative in your square root. So things like that, just making sure that your answer makes full sense. Now let's go ahead and apply these steps to solving a couple problems. Our first example here says, the length of a rectangle is 5 inches less than twice the width. The perimeter is 38 inches. Find the length and width of the rectangle. So the things that we do know is we know that the perimeter is 38 inches and we know that the length of the rectangle is 5 less than twice the width. So, what we need to do is we need to figure out all the known information, how does it relate to find out what we don't know. So, in step one, I'm going to actually list what I know here by drawing a rectangle. There's my rectangle. Okay, so we know we have a rectangle, and we know that the perimeter equals 38. My pen is not wanting to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do step two. Step two says assign the variable. And we're going to use that variable to help us write an expression. So here, what we don't know is the length and the width. We do know that the length is five less than twice the width. So if we let the width be x, then the length 
is 5 less than twice that x. So we would have 2x, and it's 5 less than that 2x. Okay. So then what we need to do in step, well, that's all for step two, is just assigning the variable and then writing an expression for the, with that variable, with the information we know. Now what we can do is step three, and what we need to do is we need to write an equation. So what is the information that we have, and how does it relate? We have the length now and the width. So we have the length and the width, and we know what the perimeter is. Do we know an ex equation that relates length width in terms of perimeter? And that would be the perimeter formula. formula. Perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width. So let's set up our equation. 2 length, so 2 times 2x minus 5 plus 2 width equals our perimeter. And we know our perimeter is 38. Okay, so that is what step three wants you to do, is just set up your equation. Step four would be to actually solve the equation. So I'm going to go through and solve this. Here I've got to distribute that two through. So we end up with 4x minus 10 plus 2x equals 38. I've got here 6x minus 10 equals 38. 6x equals 48, so x equals 8. And we have our x solved for. It does not mean we are done with the problem, but we do have what x equals. So now we're going to go back to, or go to step 5, which says, actually write out your answer. So we know that x is 8 here, but what does x represent? Well, if you remember, x was the width. So we know that our width is 8 inches. And then we actually aren't just trying to find the width. The problem says find the length and the width. So we know the width is 8. Go back to your original problem here where you wrote out the information. And you know that the, if the width is x, the length is 2x minus 5. So the length would be 2 times 8 minus 5. Whoops, on the outside there. So 16 minus 5, then we know the length is 11 inches. Okay, and that should be our final answer. We need to just go back and make sure that makes sense. We don't have a negative length or width, so that is good. And then also, if you take 8 plus 8 plus 11 plus 11, you want to make sure that that adds up to 38, which it does. And you have your final answer there solved for. Make sure, double check, you have your length and your width, and that's what you're looking for. So we're good. Let's look at one more example.